Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking in. If you haven't already subscribed to my videos, please make sure you do so, so you get the latest and greatest of what I'm uploading. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you check out the description below because I have a code just for you to get half off your first month with me on my online classes, as well as a free class. Hey everybody, so today we're gonna be doing some fun movement with our chest circles. So what we're gonna be doing is breaking down our chest circle first and then going through movement to incorporate it into our dancing. So the first thing that we wanna do with a chest circle is break up the components, as you've heard me talk about before, and go side to side and up and down. Here we go in four, three, two, and one. And right, left, right, left, right, left, Yes, I'm bringing my shoulders with me. Four, three, two, come back to center and lift and drop and lift and drop. So I'm gonna lift here and then be also adamant about holding it until I drop. So one, two, one, two versus like this, right? You wanna throw it up and then not be able to sustain the movement. Here we go and lift, drop. Lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop. Back to side to side in three, two, one. Here we go, side to side. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Add your arms in so that way you're not stiff when you do your chest movement. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're gonna do your chest slide by isolating your shoulders and keeping them in place and just shifting from the chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, back to lift and drop. And one, two, three, four. Raise the arms. Seven, eight. Make sure your shoulders are pressed down. Three, four, five, six. We're gonna go a little faster. Here we go. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Side to side, no shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. So we're getting that awareness in our body right now. And just make sure you're not using your back. You're not doing this kind of deal, right? Because that's not going to help the movement and you're just going to exhaust your back muscles and be like, oh my God, this is so hard after a period of time. So have it from your muscles underneath. Side to side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Throw in your shoulders. Here we go with the shoulders. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake it out, shake it out. Nice, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna form a circle with our chest movement. So knowing that we have to go side to side and then up and down, we're gonna create this circle in order for you to hit these points, right? And form the movement. Here we go, we're gonna go to your left first. So you're gonna head left, then up, then right, then down. And again, go left, up, right, and down. And again, left, up, right, and down. One more time, and left, up, right, and down. Now you're gonna go through those points more quickly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna reverse. Up, boom, 
down. One, two, three, four, to your right. And lift, left. Make sure that when you are lifted and you're sliding, you still keep that lift. Because if you drop, you'll have nowhere to go. Then you're just causing this like triangle, right? Is it an isosceles triangle? All my math people out there, is it an isosceles triangle? Okay, one, two, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you're gonna round out the bases like you would if you were playing baseball. And you're just hitting those points versus stopping at those points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shake it out. Okay, so we're doing a vertical chest circle right now. There's also a horizontal chest circle where instead of your chest coming up, down, up, down, it goes front to back, front to back. We don't typically use this one as much in oriental dance. It's more of a vertical movement, but this is a movement that you see in different genres of uh, belly dancing. Yeah? So, we're going to just go front and back to practice that. Four, three, two, and one. Front and back. Front and back. And you'll notice how I keep my hips in place. Boom, and back. And front, back, front, back, front, back. Now you're going to slide. So slide, front, slide, back, slide, front, slide, back. Notice how I keep my hips in place and it's my chest that's rotating around my body. Let's roll it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shake it out. So you'll notice you can vary your degrees of how big of a circle you are doing, right? Because if you notice, I can do circles where I'm pretty much in place or I can really involve my body. And the same with the horizontal chest circle. I can really involve my body here. And you see how my shoulders are rotating or I can really keep them in place and making it a little bit more controlled or centered of a movement. So it just depends on what you want to do with the chest circle, okay? So now let's throw in a little bit of movement in our lower body so we're not just right here doing all this movement, right? So you're just gonna pose off to one side. So let's go ahead and stand on your right side, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna circle four times. Doesn't matter the direction right now. You're gonna do a vertical hip chest circle on this side. And when we get over to your left side, you're going to do a horizontal chest circle instead. Okay, so we're gonna alternate back and forth and just practice those dynamics while we're in a different position. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you can remember, go the opposite direction of which you were going when you were the last, when you were here the last time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, shake it out. So let's put just a little bit more movement underneath these chest circles just to have some fun, because why not, right? So imagine you're walking. We're gonna step in place for you to do this, and we're gonna work with our 
vertical chest circle for right now, okay? So as you do this movement, you're gonna just be stepping in time with the music and your chest circle, okay? So choose a direction of which you would like to go with your vertical chest circle, doesn't matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. We're working on synchronization, not necessarily direction. Okay, here we go, four, three, start with a lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, kind of messes with you, right? Two, step, step. When one comes up, one comes down. Step, 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 step. Four more, four. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Yes. So now we're going to be doing our horizontal chest circle with our stepping, okay? So get back into that stepping motion. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Don't feel stressed or bugged out about this. It's meant to be fun, right? All of this is so you can just enjoy experiencing different ways to move with your chest circle and then getting accustomed to really getting good technique around your chest circle. So the more stress you have, the less good technique you're gonna, you're gonna have in your body. It's just the way it works. So it would behoove you to relax and just enjoy, right? Four, three, horizontal. Two, here we go with the horizontal chest circle. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try eight more. One, two, three, four, and five. You got this. Six, seven, and eight, and hold. Yes! So good. So make sure that you drill your chest circles separately before adding any kind of layer on top. It really doesn't work well if you don't have the technique of one thing well first and then you add another element on top. It just makes it a cluster F-U-C-K, if you know what I mean. So make sure that you check your technique. Look out for two mo more mobility in the hips while you're doing it. A great way is to actually sit down and practice your chest movement so that way it takes the hips out of the picture and you can focus a little bit more on your upper body, okay? Have fun with this one and make sure to go at a slower tempo first before you take it up a notch. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do so, as well as check out the description for the 50% off and your free class. Make it a great one.